cataclysmic burial. John Horner admits he's a world-class paleontology. He admits in the technical literature, we've discovered the tomb of 10,000 dinosaurs. There was a flood. It was no ordinary spring flood from one of the streams in the area, but a catastrophic inundation. We believe that this was a living, breathing group of dinosaurs destroyed in one catastrophic moment. Let's give a hand to John Horner. And he's a secular paleontologist, major world-class paleontologist, but they just, the community in general just ignores that and say, well, okay, that happened once. But look at this. A major discovery was made. A triceratops fossil was discovered on their property in that knoll. And three young men actually were a part of the excavation that got it to the point where I said, oh, whoops, guys, stop, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a cluster that looks like the atlas section of a skull of a dinosaur. So I started excavating the rest of the time and guess what turned up? Evidence of the shield, of at least two of the horns, of this triceratops. The significance of this discovery is earth shaking because he is in the middle of the Jurassic. What evolutionary geologists and paleontologists and evolutionists have assigned 140 million years ago when that flood happened and got them. 140 million years. Those millions of years do not exist. They're simply fabricated. But watch. This is a juvenile dinosaur. He's a kid. He's in layers that have been assigned 140 million years. Yet, Triceratops in the evolutionary scale of things, appeared 60 million years later in the Cretaceous. But here he is with the other dinosaurs all at the same time. There was a flood and it was not 140 million years ago. But even from their standpoint, and I used to be in their camp, from their standpoint, this guy is 60 million years out of place. Is that significant? That's very significant. They're going to have to rewrite paleontology and geology.